thanks for checking out our RPM show today. We're glad you're stopping by. January 31st is Inspire Your Heart with Art Day, and we'll be talking a bit about that today. First, let's get on a couple announcements for today. Yep. Hey, are you a Rome High student checking out our show or maybe know somebody interested in coming to the PLC? Applications for Mini Master D are due this Thursday. Please get those in. We love to have you join our PLC family. Absolutely. Speaking of other great opportunities, if you've been checking out the Senior Google Classroom page, you may have noticed that the Rome Race Stadium is hiring. Like a parking attendant or a hostess and a cook. Store attendant, ticket seller, ticket taker. Oh yeah, but not a... Yep, even the mascot. Oh. That senior Google class has been in recent buzz of scholarship opportunities. You should check it out if you're interested in going to college. I like money. I want to go to college. I'll be checking that out. Good. Now you mentioned something about hearts and art. Oh yeah. Yes, inspire your heart with art. Let's talk about art. You can make this weekend. This Saturday, February 3rd, the AR Workshop in downtown Rome off Broad Street is hosting a canvas painting party exclusively for teens from 10 to 1. Now, the website says reservations are required and are made based on the piece you want to create. Everything from a wall hanging to tote bags, so hit up the website. We post it in the description. Or you can check on Venue Dog. Prices range from $37.50 to $55, which may seem steep, but you are creating unique art to keep. If you think about it, the price covers the cost of entertainment, the venue, the supplies, and the expertise of someone who will make sure what you make looks awesome. Awesome. That's all we have going on for announcements today. Let's do birthdays. Hey guys, it's Zion. Let's talk about some birthdays this week. First off, congratulations and happy birthday to PLC Zone Corliss Ware, whose birthday was January 25th. He already graduated, so hopefully he's watching us from home. Other birthdays this week include Oprah Winfrey, the talk show host, actress, producer, and philanthropist, Jackie Robinson, the first African American to make a major league baseball team and change baseball history forever, Shakira the singer, Kevin Gates the rapper, and last but not least, Bob Marley the singer. On January 29, 1892, Coca-Cola becomes rooted in Atlanta. Most know John Pemberton to be the founder of Coca-Cola, but he's not behind the company being incorporated like it is today. That was done by Asa Candler, who was a shareholder who owned a third of the stakes of the formula, which wasn't well known at the time. In 1888, after Pemberton died, Kendler had sought to take over the whole company, but in 1914, a woman named Margaret Dozier, who owned a share as well, said that her name, and probably Pemberton's also, was forged on the company sale papers back in 1888, and by 1919, the company became reincorporated again. Whether or not a decent human being, it seems in our research that Candler was a master in marketing, advertising, and business on top of having brains to invest in a new risk of this crazy drink formula and is the reason that why the Coca-Cola company exists like it does today. Today, the company employs about 700,000 people in over 200 countries. Here are some interesting facts. Did you know that approximately 10,000 Coca-Cola brand soft drinks are consumed every second of every day? Although our date goes back to 1892, the first bottle of Coke wasn't available until 1899 and would cost you about five cents. This was actually expensive back then. There are only two countries where their brand is not available. Can you guess? You probably did. Cuba and North Korea. The Coca-Cola company makes so many drinks, 3,500 to be exact. It would take you nine years to try them all if you tried a different one every day. Mexicans are the biggest drinkers of Coke in the world. On average, Mexicans drink 745 Coke beverages a year. Americans only drink about 401. On this day, January 29th in 1595, Romeo and Juliet was first performed. It has been sugar popular since, having been performed in 24 countries just in the last 10 years. Romeo, Romeo, why do you have to be called Romeo? If you had literally any other name, you'd still be the same person. What is a name anyway? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell just as sweet. 
Romeo would be just as perfect, even if he wasn't called Romeo. I would gladly change my name for love. I hope Romeo would too. Uh. I would gladly change my name for you. Wait, what? Who's there? It's me, Romeo. Wait, what the heck? Why are you here? Who said you loved me? Yeah, but that doesn't mean that you should trespass and eavesdrop on my private thoughts. Besides the fact that it's dangerous, it's just plain creepy. How did you even know what window to go to? Google Map. I mean, love just showed me the way. Uh... Love showed me the way to your window, fair maiden. And love brought me to this treacherous territory for your sake. My love. You've got to be kidding. No, I'll do anything for you. So, what you're saying is that you're stupid enough to risk your life just so you could be a creep. That's, that's not. I really don't want to hear it. But. Love took you over that wall, it can take you back. I really didn't expect this. January 31st is Inspire Your Heart with Art Day. So we're playing a game that you can play at home. Blindfolded Sculpture Pictionary. Pictionary? Yes, Pictionary. But Eat Your Heart Out, Rhett and Link, and Jimmy Campbell, we aren't just making any random objects. <laughs> we are upping your game in a big way. Our, big way. our sculptors will have 30 seconds to create an actual famous sculpture that is just somewhere in the world. That's really difficult. So we narrowed it down to 10 choices. 10 choices? <laughs> and the other player will only get up to two guesses, two points for the first guess. This, this is, is a great way to learn your art history. history. As, As you can see, we can't. can't. All right, we got this. They're going down. <laughs> oh, God. Is it Venus de Milo by Alessandro de Antioch? No. Is it David by Michelangelo? No. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay, let's okay. do this, Miss Tisla. Okay. One of uh, Louis. It oh. is! Yay! Oh God. <laughs> oh, bless his heart. <laughs> was okay with it until it got that last boulder on its back. Is it Blue Dog by Jeff Koons? Oh, oh no! It was a uh, Deborah. It was a Deborah Sorry. Butterfield. I couldn't see that. <laughs> I'm not good at this game. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Whew. Let's go. Roll it. Roll it. Christ the Redeemer. Yes! Yeah! Fifty! Four! Yo, go down! Boom! Shaka laka! Okay. Alright, come on, come on, come on, you got this! You got this! No! No! Yes, it is! 
Oh no, it's not half. Oh, it's a thinker. No. Hey! How am I this bad at this game? <laughs> Is it a slug? Is it, is it head sculptures of Maui oh, yes. by Thank Polynesian colonizers? Yes. Wow. That's two points. That's two points. Okay. I really don't know what this is, but. Um, oh no, oh no. <laughs> it looks like a hammerhead shark. Uh, is it Christ the Re Redeemer? <laughs> is it David by Michael? <laughs> no, it was Buzz by I didn't know what to do. There's like, how? I think it's David by Michelangelo. Heck! Oh, is it Venus de Milo? Yeah. <laughs> Do we get one point? Yeah, we get one point. One point. It looks. So you oh, try to tell no. me you couldn't tell? Look at his body face. Oh no. Beautiful! Okay, is it the thinker by Augustus Robbins? Yeah! Wow, two more points. We already beat you guys. How do you feel about that? Ah. Okay. give them their grand prizes that we made ourselves. Sculptures we made out of candy! Sweetheart! Do you love it? Which is the one I'm going to play on my